just taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Mostly sunny skies here in the Fargo Moorhead area. Not everybody is enjoying the sunshine. We'll show you that satellite picture here in just a moment. However, most areas enjoying some mild temperatures right now here in Fargo. 44 degrees. It feels more like 36 winds out of the northwest at 17 miles per hour. Those winds will continue out of the northwest anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour with some occasional stronger gusts as we head through the rest of the day. Also 44 in Sisseton, 34 in Thiefer Falls and Rosa, the cold spot right at the freezing point, 32 degrees in Badet. We factor in those winds and we do have some wind chills. 19 in the, the Badet area, 23 in the Rosa area, 22 in Thiefer Falls, 29 your current wind chill up in the Devil's Lake area. On the satellite, yeah, a lot of clouds and those continue to sag off towards the south. We'll probably see some more cloudiness here in the Fargo area as we head through the rest of the afternoon, but until then, we'll see plenty of sunshine and some very mild temperatures across much of the region. Underneath those clouds, no precipitation is showing, but still could see some isolated flurries in far northern portions of Minnesota as we head through the early afternoon hours. Northern Plains, mostly quiet system that brought just a dusting of snow over portions of the area that continues to pull on off towards the east, affecting the western Great Lakes, Wisconsin, down to Chicago with some light accumulating snow. Most of the western half of the country is quiet until you get down into the southwestern U.S., parts of Arizona and California, seeing some rain showers down there. But off towards the east, this is what everybody is keeping an eye on, a massive snowstorm beginning to wind up in the pink right along the coast, all the way from the coast of Maine down to the coast of New Jersey. Blizzard warnings. That includes New York. It includes Boston, Philadelphia, and a winter storm warning. And Washington, D.C., the Baltimore, Washington area, they're going to get spared by this. Winter weather advisory there, they may get two to four inches of snow there. In Philadelphia, 10 to 16 inches of snow. New York and Boston, 20 to 30 inches of snow is forecast. In addition to that, New York expecting winds gusting as high as 50 miles per hour. Boston could see winds gusting as high as 70 miles per hour. Today, as we head through the rest of the afternoon, a nice warm-up for most areas. Northern Minnesota may stay in the low 30s. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, we'll see some partly to mostly cloudy skies. Any melting that we see today, that's going to refreeze with some cold temperatures overnight tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to see partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout much of the day, but it's going to be another mild day. We're going to warm up into the 30s and 40s once again, the coldest area once again in northern Minnesota by evening, cooling back down into the 20s and the 30s. Mild today, downright warm today. Mild tomorrow and one more mild day on Wednesday. A late day cold front will give us a chance for a few snow showers. Reinforcing shot of cold air on Friday will give us some colder temperatures. Highs in the teens Friday and Saturday and a chance for some very light snow. At this point, no major storm systems on the horizon. Good for is, us. Yeah, which is fine. So get out there and enjoy the, uh, the temperatures today. Thank you, Robert.